So welcome back everybody, been a bit of a, a while but work prevails. <clears throat> so we're going to move on uh, and thank uh, all the new subscribers. Uh, it's now over 400 and climbing. Thank you very much for your interest. Uh, and I've got to thank <coughs> uh, Martin King for this particular video or this input to this video which is a two-way open baffle two-way open baffle speaker uh, you can go online I'll, I'll put some links go online and download this as a PDF document and it's quite a detailed document outlining the where's the why for's and how's uh, I don't do technical input uh, but I do go and read about it understand it and then go and build it so this is where I started uh, I started this because uh, Martin King posted it on his Facebook page or his Facebook <coughs> forum if you like uh, outlining it's a budget uh, introduction into open baffle speaker design and build uh, in this case the Fostec FE103 which he did many 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 years ago and many people have built it uh, but he did a, a smaller version probably more wife friendly there's two parts of so this white paper part one part two and it goes into all the details as and the whys and wherefores and you'll hear me speak about an L pad um, and this is an L pad you've got an R series an R, R parallel resistor which drops or attenuates the output of the full range unit and in this case we're using the mark audio drive unit or one of them well actually in fact two of them uh, and there's also a Visation FE 13 which you can implement which works very well in this application uh, but there's no hard and fast rules as to uh, how to build this I, I drew this up um, but I've along the way I've made various alterations and modifications to the design but the basic baffle is exactly the same uh, 15 inch driver and in this case it's going to be a four inch full range driver from mark audio the lpr7 uh, i don't think is available in the uk anymore but there is a replacement for it which we'll go into in the second video uh, i've you'll see later in the video i've made different types of legs compared to this drawing uh, they're not as high I've chopped them off the same uh, and I've, I've used 24 mil birch ply uh, and I'm using that because originally and you can hear them playing in the background now uh, I made them out of 18 mil ply ordinary ply I suppose you call it shuttering ply cheap cheerful stuff because I was doing it all on a budget and it resonated for me it resonated too much um, I made long legs short legs it didn't matter it the energy generated which again I'll speak in a bit more depth later the energy generated by the 15 inch driver interferes or in my case interfered using 18 mil ply with the full range drive unit and it's so much so I had to put a, a bracing piece across the top on the back to try and stop it interfering to some degree yes and then I had to add this divider uh, because it ran about 2k2 I've got some sweeps I've got some which you'll see later uh, I it go along and I had a big hump at 2k2 um, but by putting this in uh, it actually flattened it out uh, but you'll see that later um, but for now, let's go and listen to a bit of music. I will be back in a second. So here's the prototypes. Amen. 
but I don't want to play that for too long. Uh, so there's these prototypes which I've been using for two years, thereabouts. Uh, this is my end of my office, my workshop, which I do a lot of work with. Um, and we're running uh, a name CD3, heavily modified, clocking, power supplies, blah, 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 upgraded components. Uh, very nice machine. It's over 30 years old now, still going strong. Uh, DIY audio. Uh, I can either run, I can run all sorts of preamps I have. At the moment you're listening to the Nure DIY audio kit, which is built into there with a... Uh, let me just, I'll take the lid off. The lid is... Um, it's all very DIYs. Everything's a work in progress up here. Uh, there's a Nure. Uh, this is the... So the battery run out. Uh, here we go again. I don't know whether you caught it, I'll edit this. Uh, so there's the Nure preamp, line stage if you like. Uh, this is an Avondale TPR4 power supply, works very well with this. Uh, transformer, Scotch key rectifiers, uh, input output, but it's, it's always a work in progress. This is a, a chassis I built many, many years ago, and as you can see, it's like a calendar in the bottom, and it's I don't know, 20 preamps in it and God knows what else. The power amp is uh, Nelson Pass. This is uh, an F6 inside of there, 25 watts. And I have to say that these open baffles, uh, they do require, I mean, they run very, very nicely on 25 watts. But I have other amplifiers, 100, 130 watts. Um, and they... They drive them better. They, they're a better drive. But anyway, let's uh, move on and uh, we'll go into the video of a bit of cutting. So forgive the poor lighting and the shaky camera. I'm doing this handheld. So this is the prototype I built some years ago from Martin J. King's design he posted on Facebook. Um, there is the 15 inch. This is mounted on an, as is, sorry about the shadow and the light, um, an 18 millimeter thick, I'm in England and I work in uh, metric, uh, 18 mil ply. Um, <clears throat> there's a bit of a crossover again, this is all very prototype and the Mark Audio Alpair 7A, as he, as the design asked for. But for me, it didn't work very well. Um, the, this Alpair is <coughs> so efficient, it's a bit shouty, to say the least. Um, but there's no hard and fast rules about this. In effect, in effect, it's just a piece of ply, or any wood, any piece of wood you like, but I would suggest that you up it from 18 millimeters uh, because I had to use this bracing to stop the vibration. This 15 inch driver generates so much energy in this open baffle in it, in it. Well, generates so much energy that it makes, makes this Alpair 7 or any driver you put in here um, struggle to cope. Um, hence, there's a in effect, there's a piece of wood or a baffle separator or a partition, if you like, because the energy from this 15 inch plays around or interferes with this drive unit. Also, I did not rebate this cutout here for this full range driver, uh, but I was just trying to brace this 18 millimeter ply to stop it vibrating because it was buzzing. It was making this buzz. Uh, and when I put this bracing on uh, and that divider, it was fine. Uh, <clears throat> now, we move on to some proper bit of kit now. Uh, the next evolution for me anyway. Um, I have, this is 24 millimeter birch ply. Uh, and I went out and fashioned I, I, I've got to be up front now, I am not by any way, shape or form a carpenter. 
This is the first time I've whittled wood in reality since I left school uh, 55 years ago. Um, but uh, with a few rudimentary tools, um, some files, some saws, drill, hacksaw, uh, and I went and bought a router. As you can see, you can see some marks here. And I made up a little jig. I had to make up a jig, uh, router jig, to get the radiuses on here. And but it leaves such a nice job, this router and some bits. Um, so I'm quite pleased with it. It needs sanding. We're going to put some oak veneer on the front of here and maybe on the back to tidy it up. This is the back. I started off, as you can see, I've rebated the hole for the full range driver now so there's nothing in the way. You get some funny readings uh, when you measure a full range if you, if you don't do this. Um, but I started off, as I said, I'm no carpenter, um, but I routed out this. Uh, I didn't know, because as I said, nothing's set in stone. This is all um, as I go, but it works very well. Um, I know it works very well because I've already built it as a prototype. Now these, I'm going to call these wide wings, wide wing legs. You can put on the outside or the inside. The reason I've done this is because in this application for me, these, these speakers are going to be sat either side of a fireplace and I get a lot of issues with resonance and I'm, I've tried it. Uh, on this, what I did, I stapled a piece of cardboard, or you know, on the side here, and it stopped the reflections hitting the the, the, the chimney breast, as it would be, uh, and distorting the figures. So, whichever way you can have it on the inside or the outside, probably um, there's a bit of research, GR research. And good old USA, Jerry. Um, thank you very much, Jerry, for your videos. Very informative. He produces a, a speaker and he uses two wings either side, but only on the base end. And there is an, a base reinforcement, if in effect you're, it's a semi box and it gives it an, an extra lift on the bottom end. Um, so I'm going to knock up some more legs and do some experimentation. Because that's what DIY is about, a bit of experimentation. So there's there's the component parts, that's it. Nothing to it really. This is all going to be glued together with, uh, as they all use, a bit of tile bond, wood glue. Um, no screws, no drilling. Um, they're all going to be glued, clamped left for 24 hours and it will be as solid as a rock then I shall finish it, sand it down and finish it uh, we come on to the, some drive units uh, these are, I've used these um, in the past uh, these are 6p's, uh, a smaller 3 uh, inch, they're a 3 inch driver but they work very well, this is the flexibility of this particular system I've also used with great success the Visation FR13 full range driver uh, you have to your cutout is completely different for this um, but they work extremely well the crossover is slightly different I'll go into that into the second video um, but the DIY thing uh, I think I'll do. An, uh, I'll stick this on the on the camera pod, and uh, I'll be back. So a bit of a reveal here. Um, you've seen these. It's just a, a jigsaw, very simple jigsaw puzzle. Um, I got a circular saw, a couple of these, just marked them out um, with a, a ruler. A pencil where I wanted to cut it. Um, all the information is on the drawing that I posted on Facebook. Now that's just a piece of 12mm ply as a divider. 
I've spoken about the drive units apart from the base which is this Eminence Beta 15A so we're going to have a big reveal now brand spanking new out of the box I've also run these active uh, using Nelson Pass's DIY two-way active crossover uh, and the crossover point is around about the 500 something like that 450, 500, 550 uh, works extremely well active um, so there it is brand spanking new you can also use uh, the, these are the alphas you can also use the betas uh, very cheap for what they are and what they do so there is the reveal on the drivers obviously I've got two of everything so I'm hoping you can see everything here I'm just going to swing this over that's a bit of a table can you see that let's have a look yeah I think you can see that I might zoom in a little bit because I want to get closer on that now bear with me a sec oh dear I bought a new tripod and it's so sticky brand new okay so we're now going to talk about the crossover and I'm not going to show you the crossover at this point um, all bar it is exactly as per Martin King's crossover he posted he kindly posted on Facebook some years ago now um, whereby you have a 9 mh inductor iron core I think this is a 68 68 oof capacitor or microfarad capacitor uh, you have I can't remember what the inductance is of these. Oh, here's, here's one. It's a 2.2 um, inductor, uh, or 2.4 actually, I think. He says, but I couldn't get 2.4s. Um, and a few resistors. I will post these resistors, are mainly to do um, with the L pad. The L pad. Uh, reduces the volume of the full range driver what I found and probably other people have found the full range driver is so lively we we'll call it lively I've, I attenuated this again in the software BASTA and there will be a nice bit of foam which I've pre-cut It'll be held in place by uh, Velcro, which I'll glue on the inside of here, which I've done on a previous open baffle, the PAP 3s, and that will just sit in there and hide the base unit to make it more voice friendly. Uh, and <clears throat> I'm going to do a similar thing here where on these Alper speakers you can actually just glue a piece of grill cloth on the inside of there put it on there and these are just these just clip on it's part and parcel of the design uh, hence we'll see we'll see um, some people like to see a bit of silver or gold these come in silver or gold this particular drive unit is no longer available to us in the UK I note um, but there is a new one uh, which I'll be covering uh, there's nothing has to be done to the crossover to incorporate it we'll find out later um, they're on their way as we speak which will be part and parcel of the build when I'll get around to building these up so that's the intro uh, thanks for watching um, thanks for your interest again I've got to thank you for all those people that have subscribed uh, there must be a lot of interest in this type of thing and again I've got to stress this is not set in stone you you can <coughs> go and get a piece of wood drill two holes in it in effect or cut two holes in it 
mount these drivers a simple crossover and you're up and running a little bit of hardware and you're up and running with a very very good sounding mind you in saying that up and running it takes a hundred hours to run in the mark audio drive unit so you run them for a hundred hours just gently 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 just low volume just leave them ticking over for about a hundred hours before you give them some some real volume uh, so i hope that's of interest to you uh, interest to me and i look forward to finishing it off um, and hope we get some good results so Cuando mis sueños siento que respiro Un nuevo giorno nace, ¿qué color habrá? Por encontrar el mundo como fan bambino Que vive intensamente todo lo que ha La esperanza no lasciarme da solo Y grande tentación a la mi vanidad so <clears throat> that's the end of the this first video uh, this is Laverda the implementer I wish you well keep safe hope Covid hasn't affected you too much um, I'll be back with a follow-up video maybe in a week or two because I've got a lot to do to finish these open baffle speakers keep safe keep well Bye for now.